Hi everyone! I wanted to say a little bit about what we're going to see this week in class. Our first topic is going to be differentiation. And our second topic is going to be the chain rule. So I want to say a little bit about how differentiation in multiple variables differs from differentiation in one variable. So to get started, right, if we have something like a sphere, then we've got two distinct directions to measure in. We can measure thing in, things in the x direction, or we can measure things in the y direction. And that means that we're going to have two vectors that give us the basis of a tangent plane at different points about our sphere. So if we think of our sphere as being the graph of a two-dimensional function, then we've got two directions that we can go in. So that's something in multiple variables. Another kind of differentiation that we can do is differentiation along curves. Here, we can imagine the tangent line to our spring, or our helix, as being the direction that the helix is pointing at each point. So the chalk represents the direction that someone traveling on the helix would be looking. So that's also a multivariable derivative, but happening in three dimensions. Okay, so there's the topic of differentiation, which brings us into questions like, when does a function have a derivative? In one variable, we have the following phenomena. So if we had something like, y equals absolute value of x minus 1 plus 2, then this function would fail to have a derivative at x equals 1. So we'd be going along, there'd be no well-defined tangent line, we'd be going along and there'd be a well-defined tangent line. Okay, so no derivative x equals 1, because at that point, there's no well-defined tangent line. Okay? This issue is much more subtle in multiple variables. So consider something like a cone in space. Here, we could have tangent planes at many, many points, but fail to have a tangent plane at the tip of the cone. Okay? In that sense, the cone would fail to be differentiable. Okay, so there's no derivative at this cone point here. Another way in which something can fail to be differentiable in multiple variables is if it has a fold in it. If the graph of our function has a fold at some point, then we might have tangent planes on either side of that fold, but have no tangent plane along the fold itself. Okay, so we can see that in multiple variables, differentiation is a more subtle issue than in one variable. topic that we're going to be covering this week is the chain rule. In one variable, we have some input x and we have some output f of x. So if we have several functions, they chain together very concretely g of f of x, but at each stage we have sort of a one-dimensional thing. However, in multiple variables, we can have the following phenomena. If we have a function which is based on two variables, x and y, then those, in turn, can be based on other variables. And now, we have the following situation. x is based on a and b, y is based on a 
and b. And now we have some kind of nonlinear flow of information from a to f of x. So in one variable, we always get a linear chain of functions. And in multiple variables, we can sometimes get two-dimensional structures among our variables. We're going to be talking about these issues in class this week, and uh, I look forward to telling you more about them.